I've hit every goal that I have set out for myself thus far. And I've sat there and looked at the bank account and been like, this is exactly what you wanted. And now what? (laughs) And so I've learned how to be super grateful for what I have and be okay with wanting more. Because the reality is I have retired, I think twice at this point, just like walked away and was like, okay, you know, somebody else can run the companies. I'll sell the companies. I mean, I was deep down having a conversation about selling my biggest company, looking at beach houses, all this kind of stuff. And I ended up just being like, but what would you do? And the biggest thing that they wanted was, um, not, it wasn't the biggest thing they wanted, but there was a non-compete clause. And I didn't like the idea of somebody telling me what I could and couldn't do. And so it's like I took months with this where I wasn't working and looking at the beach houses and deciding what we're going to do and um, ended up getting a, a huge check for something else that we had sold, not the company, but um, a private label option within the company. And what I realized was like, that, that doesn't make me happy. It makes me happy being in service and being a value. And I've talked to a lot of my clients and even family members that are looking forward to retirement. And I'm like, I feel like I have the best of both worlds right now. I can enjoy my life when I want to. And I still get to add the value and still get to feel like I have purpose. And so that's what I said about making, you know, piles of cash and losing piles of cash is like, What's actually your purpose? What's actually aligned? And my assumption is every day that I wake up, despite having, you know, my heart conditions and the disabilities that I'm dealing with, if I'm able to get out of bed and I'm able to come and do this podcast with you, like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, mm. not sitting on a beach bored out of my mind. Like I, I do a ton of sitting on the beach <laughs> and, you know, I also love doing this. And that's something that it's a conversation I've had with my husband. We're about to have our third kid. And it's a conversation I've had with my husband a lot lately is because I'm like, you know, we could, we could just sell everything and walk away. And he's like, you've done that. You didn't like it. And so the biggest currency for me is the value exchange with other people, not what's in my bank account.